Yeah, going through January, it it felt more like an internal time instead of being out and about with families and friends, or perhaps if you were, or with your love interest or dating, um, there wasn't a light heartedness to these celebrations or these dates, or perhaps you're in a couple Capricorn and you're having some obligations to attend to, um, in out, out and about. And exactly that they felt like obligations and they sort of left you feeling tired and exhausted and I want to say burdened by them. Um, like you, you were just attending these parties and gatherings or perhaps putting yourself out there in the dating world because you feel like, well, I have to do something if you're single or approaching your current relationship. If you are coupled with a sense of duty and I'm going to open these up and pull a clarifying card for each of them. So yeah, feeling like somebody with the two of cups on the seven of swords, feeling like somebody was giving more or taking or needing more from the relationship than you. Here, here's the obligations I was talking about. You're sort of, you're, you're coming to a place where you're giving yourself permission to not engage in outer social functions that you're not excited about and good for you. Uh, I think that it's an excellent choice that if you don't have to be somewhere or and you're only going out of obligation, then it's best you um, tend to your own business. And because I see the Ace of Wands in reverse, this is the card of passion, which Man, oh man, Capricorn. I have Capricorn rising, so I get this energy. I'm going to move on to the current energies that you are moving into for the month of... Yeah. Well, I see you, I see you receiving... Okay, so the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Four of Cups in reverse. You have all reversals for February. And the Hermit in reverse. This is the retreating card um, that I was talking about for January and you are coming out of that phase and perhaps this alone time or this inner reflection and focusing more on um, your own wants and needs, you'll be coming to a place in, in February that you can receive this cup that the universe is bringing to you your your ultimate true desires and coming out of uh, your solitary mode <clears throat> from a place of wanting more emotional connection. Open these up. Okay, page of wands. Yeah, not wanting to do it on your own anymore. In reverse, the matriarch card. I'm using the Smith. Wait, tarot deck from the Centennial Edition. It's one of my favorite decks right now. The Matriarch card. It's special artwork, particularly for this deck. You have on the Four of Cups and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you're dropping these, these burdens, um, perhaps outer relationships that you have with particular people that you haven't been receiving an equal amount for what you're putting into the relationship, you're, you're letting those partnerships, so you're just not giving them your attention anymore by dropping this. You've, you've seen the truth of the situation and how in the past, perhaps they did feel like a burden or out of obligation or sort of you're spending time with this person just because they're there and you didn't have any other prospects coming in. Um, but I see that in February that they are, if you're single and somebody who has a very mature 
ideal of love and wanting to create the structure in the material realm. I see this is the matriarch card um, of you receiving that energy that's that's coming towards you in February in the way that it's going to feel comfortable and familiar and welcome. And that's beautiful. So moving out of February, I'm going to move down here. You have the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, ooh la la, and the Ace of Cups. So the Knight of Cups. And I'll also pull clarifier cards on these three as well. Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. So again, the Knight of Cups as you're moving out of February, perhaps there are people in your life that are still wanting to get your attention and you're just really not interested in the way that they're approaching you, the way of what they have to offer. Um, it's just not emotionally fulfilling you. So let me clarify that. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't light your fire um, from this younger energy. You're, you're going to be definitely focusing more on this mature, solid, nurturing person instead of somebody who just wants to have fun. Uh, somebody who's serious about creating a solid foundation with another human being and has that reciprocal quality and knows that relationships are work and can take take work and time and attention um, but not in an obligatory way but out of choosing I'll clarify the four of pentacles energy yeah so still you're in the process of releasing this is a seven of pentacles on the four pentacles in a very practical way things that aren't emotionally fulfilling you. Things that perhaps you have had in your life. This is a seven uh, for seven months, seven years. We have the seven year cycle. And if you're not completely letting them go, Capricorn, I see you completely wanting to transform them in a way that will ultimately be much more emotionally fulfilling for you here with the Ace of Cups, Two of Swords. Don't doubt yourself um, in your desires of how full you want to feel in your love with others and for yourself. Ultimately, um, perhaps taking a look at what's stopping you from expressing yourself in these love partnerships whether you're already coupled or dating, single, looking, and coming to an understanding of where your inner blocks are or where you are closed off to love possibilities um, from things perhaps that may have happened in the past or disappointments or maybe trying to communicate in a way and it wasn't received well. So keep at it. Definitely keep at it. You will get there. I love the Ace of Cups. And the Two of Swords feels like a little bit of a stumbling block around your cup feeling completely full. And perhaps feeling like your cup can't be full unless you have somebody in your life. And that is just not the truth at all. Because honestly... The way that love partnerships work in the real world is when your cup, when you're filling your cup up with your divine resonance and with your connection with spirit and your, your rituals and your routines and ways of being in your everyday life that you feel supported and solid and whole as a whole person. And when you're coming into and approaching any relationship for that matter, 
um, from this standpoint, she'll be able to drop those swords of defensiveness and not being able to see the truth of situations. And ultimately, that is what you want. I'm going to pull a wild Kuan Yin oracle card for you, Capricorn, by Alana Fairchild. I love this deck. The imagery is absolutely stunning. For a little bit of more information for you, let's see what wild Kuan Yin has to say. I think it's this one. Above you, the Lantern Dancer. Oh, it's the first card. Number one. She has a very large full moon. I think there's some intense eclipse happening in coming up in February. Number one. I'm going to read you a little blurb. Look beyond what appears to be. Guiding grace, like a star in the sky, shows the way through what is happening now. I am the lantern dancer, lighting the way to a new path, a new reality for you. Even when the moon is full and you believe that you see all as it is, I know that there is something far more beautiful happening. Trust me and I will show you. Again, coming back to the hermit paired with the ten of wands dropping, the burdens in your life and not feeling guilty about them and filling your own cup up Capricorn with things that you find fun and exciting and and filling your days with enjoyable things as much as possible 